Okay, I think we, we can start now. So the second and first speaker of this session and the last one also <laughs> will be um, Radek uh, Vazatko from uh, Technical University in Prague, Republic Czech. And the title of his uh, PhD thesis is a nonlinear analysis of uh, gradually built structures. And today it, uh, it will present a work on the impact of a modulus of elasticity on deflection of concrete structure. So thank you for introduction. Uh, my name is Radik Vasatko, uh, and I will talk about impact of modulus of elasticity on uh, deflection of concrete structures. Uh, I will talk uh, our content is uh, mot some motivation, introduction uh, to the uh, team, uh, and then I will talk about modules of elasticity and impact of modules of elasticity on behavior of concrete structures. Uh, the motivation. Uh, deflection of uh, reinforced uh, structures is uh, influenced, uh, influenced by uh, many parameters. Uh, Short-term uh, deflection is uh, most affected by modulus of elasticity and by cracks uh, in the concrete. Uh, the long term is in addition uh, affected by shrinkage and creeping, uh, creeping of uh, concrete. Uh, at the real structures, uh, we often encounter a larger deflection than assumed uh, in analysis. And sometimes it, it uh, tends to be explained by lower value of uh, modulus of elasticity uh, than recommended. Uh, but usually it's uh, caused, uh, it's rather caused by small thickness or depth of the, uh, of the structure and uh, grid development. Uh, something for introduction. Uh, in serviceability limit states, uh, we uh, usually use uh, linear distribution of strain and stress in this section, uh, except the areas uh, in tension where, where cracks are uh, assumed. Uh, mostly we use uh, the mean value of modulus of elasticity. And the same value is uh, also used in uh, ultimate limit states uh, because uh, it's difficult to determine uh, if it's higher or uh, lower value has favorable on or uh, unfavorable effect. Uh, for uh, statically determinate structures uh, in ULS, uh, the influence of modules of elasticity is uh, negligible. Uh, because the methods are based on equilibrium, but for the statically indeterminate uh, structures in uh, ultimate limit states, the methods are also based on uh, compatibility of the formations. Uh, so this presentation will be focused on uh, impact of modulus of elasticity uh, on deflection of the concrete structures in serviceability limit state. So something about uh, modulus of elasticity in structural analysis. Uh, it's one of the basic parameters uh, or basic inputs in analysis. Uh, the most calculations are based on uh, elastic behavior, uh, which assume uh, validity of Hooke's uh, law. Uh, so we can see the modulus of elasticity is a basic parameter for calculations of uh, deformations of structures. Uh, the modulus uh, of elasticity is recommended in design codes. Uh, in Eurocode, uh, it's defined by uh, its uh, mean value, which is approximate. Uh, and the value uh, increases with uh, concrete strength that increases in time. Uh, based on agreement, uh, we use in calculations uh, values for age of 28 days. Uh, if we don't need some more precise analysis or some more detailed analysis. Uh, for determination of long-term uh, long uh, behavior, uh, we uh, need to involve uh, creep of the concrete in the calculations. And uh, mostly it's uh, reflected by creep coefficient, uh, as we can see in the equation. Uh, 
so uh, impact uh, on behavioral of structures. Uh, in uh, serviceability limit states, we assume uh, elastic behavior, as I said, and uh, development of the cracks uh, leads uh, to change of the stiffness that we must include in the calculations of deformation of deformations. On the other hand, uh, it has only small uh, impact on internal forces. Uh, at statically determinate structures, uh, the internal forces are not dependent on modulus of elasticity and it plays a role only in uh, calculations of uh, deformation. Uh, at statically indeterminate uh, structures, uh, if it's not homogeneous, uh, the internal forces are also uh, dependent on the modulus of elasticity, but the effect is not very high. Uh, I have prepared one example, uh, which uh, shows the effect or impact of modulus of uh, elasticity and uh, impact of cracking on deflection of uh, reinforced concrete slab uh, to make the calculation uh, uh, transparent. Uh, we uh, assumed some uh, basic parameters uh, which are shown here. Uh, it's simply supported uh, slab with thickness uh, 200 millimeters with span 4.8 uh, meters. Uh, the slab is reinforced bar, uh, by bars uh, diameter 16 with spacing 150 millimeters. It's made from concrete glass uh, uh, with strange 30 megapascals. And we assumed uh, creep coefficient uh, 1.93, which was uh, calculated for relative humidity 70% and for uh, load or uh, time of load uh, 28 days. Uh, the calculations have two steps. Uh, the first is deterministic calculation where the uh, deflection was cal calculated uh, for uh, short term and uh, long term for uh, correct and, uh, uh, and uncorrect uh, section and uh, for basic uh, modulus of elasticity and for the value uh, which is lower by four gigapascals. Uh, the four gigapascals are based on scatter uh, of modulus of elasticity. It's shown uh, on this picture where we can see uh, 70 or maybe more me measurements of uh, modulus of elasticity. Uh, which were uh, made in different concrete plants uh, in Czech Republic. And we can see the scatter of modulus of elasticity, which is uh, high. Uh, so from this picture was taken the four gigapascals. Uh, here we see uh, the uh, results of the calculations. Uh, where we can see that the short term deflection uh, rises about uh, four times uh, when uh, the section is uh, cracked. Uh, and uh, the difference between uh, different uh, modules of elasticity is, is low. Uh, the similar we can see at the long term deflection where the uh, impact of modulus of elasticity is also low, but uh, effect of cracking of the uh, structure leads to uh, two times uh, higher deflection. Uh, here are the findings summarized. Uh, so uh, we can see that the considering only elastic deformation is not correct. And uh, the rest I think I said. Uh, the second step uh, was statically, uh, statical analysis, where uh, were assumed uh, variable modulus of elast elasticity and uh, variable uh, tensile strength along the slab. Uh, it was used uh, Latin hypercube sampling method, and uh, we made three alternatives. First was variable modulus of elasticity, second uh, variable tensile strength, 
and the third is combination of variable modulus of elasticity and uh, variable strength of the concrete. Uh, in this table, we can see uh, the results. Uh, maybe the most important is uh, the last row, where we can see uh, that with, uh, if we have variation of modulus of elasticity, about 10%, and variation of mean value of tensile strength, about 15%. So the uh, variation coefficient of the short-term deflection is uh, about 4%. And uh, for long-term deflection, it's about 3%. Uh, so we can say that the influence of modulus of elasticity is uh, small. Uh, it's similar to the first part of the example. Uh, we can see that if the variation coefficient of modulus of elasticity is about 10%, so the variation coefficient of deflection is maximum about 2% and uh, variation coefficient is of uh, tensile strength is uh, 15%, the variation coefficient of deflection is about five. Uh, we can see it also on this picture where are shown uh, distribution of probability uh, of deflection and uh, distribution of probability of inputs. And uh, we can see that the variability of the deflection is lower than variability of inputs. Uh, so the conclusions, uh, the modulus of elasticity is a basic parameter for calculation of deflection. Uh, so it's necessary to specify the value uh, of modulus of elasticity in design codes, uh, but it has a large scatter which has a significant, significant uh, effect uh, on the formations of structures with uh, entire section in action. Uh, typically it's uh, for pre-stressed stru structures. Uh, for, so for the pre-stressed structures, uh, we should define the, the modulus of, the, of elasticity to avoid the scatter. Uh, it reinforced uh, concrete structures, the influence of crack development and tensile strength uh, prevails over the influence of variability of uh, the modulus of elasticity. Uh, I thank you for your attention. Thank you for your presentation. Yep. So you can, we will now start for the, with the question. We already have a question from uh, the uh, participant. The question is, uh, what aggregate size did you use in your concrete? Uh, it was uh, only example. I didn't use uh, it. Uh, it, it, it. It was not an experiment. It was a calculation only. And there, uh, there is no effect of the aggregate si size to, to, the, uh, to the parameters. Okay, thank you. For, for all the participants, uh, feel free to, uh, to ask questions in the chat or, or Q&A, and I will uh, ask the question to, the, to Radek. So um, uh, maybe Andreas, you have some questions? Uh, it was I, I that posed the question about the aggregate size because the aggregate size uh, can affect the okay. uh, elasticity. But yeah, 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 very, okay. very yeah. good presentation. Thank you. Yeah, the, the aggregate size, uh, aggregate size uh, can uh, affect the modulus of elasticity. There is in Eurocode some uh, definition, uh, and we can change uh, the modulus of elasticity based on the aggregate. Uh, but uh, in this example, it was uh, taken as this, as a standard uh, modulus of, of elasticity. I have also uh, some questions. Um, in your first part, uh, in your uh, deterministic calculation, mm -hmm. uh, can you explain more how you determine the um, cracked sections uh, on your beam? Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, I'm not sure if I understand uh, what to define or you you, uh, you said that um, you use crack section. Yeah. Yeah, the, the crack sections are, are not the same along the beam. Uh, uh, 
There is a variation of the section? Uh, no, there is no variation. Uh, no variation. Yeah. The, the, the correct section is the same for all the bin? Yeah, yeah, for, for uh, it was, uh, yeah, I think that uh, we use the same, uh, same uh, parameters for uh, all section in the beam, along the beam. We didn't uh, assume some uh, different properties along the beam. Okay, but for, for the cracks? Yeah. You considered that you have the same cracks uh, at the supports that uh, in the middle of the beam? Uh, yeah, it usually has uh, not very high effect when we uh, when you uh, use uh, the variable uh, properties along okay. the beam. <clears throat> I think uh, also uh, we could use it, but I, I'm not sure if there would be some more effect or higher effect of it. The deflection would be lower, but uh, a little bit, Okay, I think. And uh, I also, also have uh, one question of, uh, of your statistical analysis. Yes. You, you say that you, you use a, a Latin hypercube sample yeah. to, uh, to choose your parameters. Yeah. But uh, can you explain how you, um, you determine the, uh, the probability of, the, of, your, uh, of these parameters and how the distributions of these parameters are in the, in the beam? Uh, yeah, uh, the uh, variability of modulus of elasticity was taken the same as in the first part. Mm -hmm. uh, so we took that the standard variation uh, of the modulus of elasticity was four gigapascals. Uh, and then we used uh, Gauss uh, uh, variation, or Gauss, Gauss fun function, and uh, uh, and the uh, uh, strength of the concrete or tensile strength of the concrete, uh, and its variability was taken or is is based on uh, Eurocode two, where uh, it's plus minus 30% uh, of the uh, mean value. So the 30% is uh, the standard uh, variation, or two standard variations. Okay, thank you. If there are more questions in, uh, of the participant? Yes, we have uh, one question. Uh, do you want to validate your calculations by experiments? Uh, no, uh, we don't plan it. Uh, this was uh, made only on theoretical uh, base. Uh, it was, as I said, because uh, very often uh, the larger uh, deflections are explained by lower value of modulus of elasticity, but mostly in design or very often in design, the, uh, the designers uh, don't uh, assume correct section. So mostly the problem is in the design of the, of the structure and not in, uh, in uh, modulus of elasticity, elasticity. And it's what the uh, presentation should show. Thank you, Radek. Uh, and we <laughs> we will uh, finish this uh, very short session. We we uh, have more uh, uh, presentation in session one A, so don't hesitate to uh, to change and to uh, to go to see the the, the, more, the three more uh, papers. I think in uh, session one A. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.